Hello, Zombie Dolly Wack here. Um, we streamed last night. Yeah, it was fun. However, the stream cut off, so... Yeah. We did a bit some more that I managed to record. These will be highlights as well, because some extra bits did record, as I said. Okay. Hopefully you guys get to see the end. Okay. Bye-bye. Oh yeah, this was live streamed. Um, make sure to come watch in the future. Yeah, subscribe so you'll get it. Click the notification bell as well. I do random stuff. It's fun. Okay, bye. Okay, here we go, yes. Whoa, this is, this is new, this is new, this is, whoa, it's getting fancy. Oh, I like this. I like this, I like, I like it. That's what it's going to be about. Okay, so. Scenario. Battle to the death at Hope Speak Academy. Setting. Hope Speak Academy, a prestigious school known for nurturing exceptional talent. The battle takes place with a new academy's various facilities, including classrooms, hallways, and the gymnasium. Conditions. Both blue. Both Pops and Links are aware that this is a battle to the death. I love this. Pops has access to all of his abilities, including mortality, superhuman strength, summoning, and lowland powers. Link has his master sword, full inventory of items, the triforce of courage, and any magical spells av available in his various adventures. Initial encounter. The battle begins. In the main hallway of Hobbs Peaks, Pops stands confidently, and Link readies his master sword. Pops, with his immortality, may initially appear invulnerable to Link's attack. Link launches a series of strikes with the Master Swords, but Pops displaying his immortal seems unfair. However, Link is quick to adapt, utilizing his skills, utilizing his combat skills to try and find a weakness or exploit Pops' invulnerability. Pops in turn summons objects and creatures from Lala Land to create distractions and obstacles. Link's agility and the swordsmanship allow him to navigate through these challenges, but Pops continues to showcase his unpredictable nature of his Lala Land powers. The battle shifts to various locations in Hope's Peak Academy. Link uses his environment to his advantage, specifically employing items such as bombs, arrows, and magical spells to create openings in Pops' defences. Pops counters with summoning spells, bringing forth whimsical and unpredictable en entities to disrupt the Link's attacks. Tactics. The battle becomes a dynamic exchange of sword play, magical clashes, and creative use of surroundings. Triforce and Oh my god, let's have that. Triforce and final showdown. The battle intensifies. Link drawn upon the Triforce of Courage gains a surge of divine strength and determination. This booze allows him to break through Pops' immortality temporality. Pops, realizing the gravity of the situation, unleashes the full extent of his Pops' and powers. The economy transforms into a, to a surreal battleground. With various reality bending to the whims of Pops' imagination, Link faces a surreal and challenging landscape, but his courage and experience help him navigate through the chaos. In the final epic clash, Link manages to exploit a moment of unparalleled Pops' defences, delivering a decisive blow with the Master Sword! Pops, despite his immortality, is incapacitated. The battle ends with Pops acknowledging Link's strength and courage in Surreal and Popular Disrupt. Hopes Link Academy returns. Link's emergency victorious! Link won. Very. Entertaining to Entertaining to Very methodical and full time entertaining too. There we go. Okay. There you go, we give it a couple okay, so that means that Link is dead. Can I draw on this? Wait no what he'll take me to the thing. No, I don't want to edit it. Hello? What's this? Why is it just strip white? What? Uh, uh, hello? What? Uh, hello? What? What? Crop. I don't want to do crop. No. No. There's nothing gonna be up. No. Yeah. Go away. You just fat. Yeah. Anyway. Jesus Christ!
please don't tell me it's all the way back there. Jesus Christ, it's so far behind. I mean... Okay, so link one. Oh, yeah. Uh, now we're moving on to character.ar for Jahi Kang versus Goku. Okay. Boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Pepsi, 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 me. Do, 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 do. Get him up again so I can unlock what he's from. Battle on Scar or next to the city Kalana. Oh, I mean, it should have, it should have just said. Scar, Planet of the Daleks is a desolate, upon world. The city clan stands as a testament to the Daleks' destructive nature. The battle takes place in the ruins of the city Kalan, with the remnants of Dalek technology scattered across the landscape. See? So the Doctor can use the technology to fight. There we go. The Sixth Doctor has access to all conditions. The Sixth Doctor has access to all of his weapons and abilities in the Talmud technology. See, there's extraordinary weapons and items and the ability to summon ten snow bombs of distraction. Initial encounter. The Sixth Doctor arrives on Scarlet as a dire of circumstances. Man Chris Steven, whose characteristic blo blocky appearance appears ready and determined for battle. The ruins of Kalan provide a dramatic backdrop for the, for the confrontation. The Doctor, utilising his talent and time technology, quickly begins scanning the island for the momentum. He may use the sonic Sonic Blue Rabbit to gather information about the landscapes and any remnants of Dalek technology that could be repurposed. Steve, meanwhile, quickly gathers resources and crafts the weapons aware of the hostile environment. The summon snow guns act as a distraction, following snowballs at the Doctor. <laughs> the Doctor disrupts his plans. The Doctor repurposes Dalek remnants to create makeshift defences, perhaps fashioning barriers or devices to hinder Steve's, mo Steve's movements. Steve, an adept of building structures, constructs force occasions and uses terrain to his advantage. Are they just having a build battle? Snow Golems engage in combat, creating chaos in the battlefield. The Doctor, relying on his combat skills and Tamil gadgets, attempts to map up maneuver Steve's tactics. The battle intensifies. With the Doctor and Steve engaged in a strategic dance around the ruins, the Doctor's intelligence and adaptability come into play, countering Steve's resourcefulness with well timed intentions and plans. Steve, Fueled by the determination to survive, utilizes his combat skills and, s and the summon snow guns to keep the doctor on his toes. The desolate landscape becomes a battleground with explosions of classic sky coming throughout the moment. <coughs> oh, it's a fierce ball. Oh, climatic show showdown. As the battle reaches its climax, the doctor and Steve face each other off directly. The doctor, drawn upon his knowledge of Dalek technology and Tamil's abilities, are Unveils a final calculated strategy. Steve, determined armed with a variety of items, he is crafted, makes a final push. The snow golems continue their circle, but the doctor uses his health finds, finds a way to neutralize their effectors. In the end, between the battle of six doctors and Steve, it's assessment to a okay, I don't forget the outcome could swing in either direction. Challenge the doctors okay. Battle okay, it's done an inconclusive battle. So we gotta get it on. Conclude it. <laughs> I think Pops actually may have a decent chance. Because it is Pops. Should we change the snow bombs to Daleks because uh, for next for the uh, next round? I guess we'll change it to Daleks. Might as well. I inside Daleks uh, from the Minecraft box. Minecraft Dalek Lord. Between.
Alexa store of his weapons and abilities. Pops, regular show. Pops is immortal, meaning he cannot die for superhuman strength. <laughs> Which include various. Uh, Pops doesn't really have any weapons, does he? I guess it gives him like the edge. He's a weird. It's the same as last time, do I really have to say that? Okay. Goku, Dragon Ball Z. Superhuman strength. Goku possesses incredible physical strength, able to lift massive objects and overpower parts of ease. Goku's speed and agility are excellent, allowing him to move and react at huge superhuman levels. That controls Kai energy for various purposes, including powerful energy blasts, flight, and enhanced abilities. Goku is a highly skilled martial artist. Efficient in various fighting styles and techniques, Goku can transform into more powerful forms such as Super Saiyans. Such as Super Saiyan, increasing his strength. Okay. Part of mortality could provide him with a unique advantage as he cannot be killed by conventional memes. However, Goku's superhuman strength, especially in his more powerful forms, may allow him to fix significant damage on Pops. Pops is able to summon objects and creatures may in introduce an unpredictable element to the battle. However, Goku's mastery of Kai manipulation allows him to counter and respond with various supernatural abilities. Pop's Lolly Land powers allow Winstacle may face a formidable challenge against Goku's ability to transform to more powerful states. Goku's transitions could significantly enhance his co combat prowess and could potentially outclass Pop's abilities. Pop's access to all of his weapons could bring a variety of unconnected and predictable battle. However, Pop's master will make him a highly skilled bat battle. Okay, we see. It does seem to be skipping into Goku's favor, but we all know how to fight. In... Can we all have them fight? In uh, all right, in a location. Let's have a look. What's a good? What's a decent location? Hang on. Let me ask. Let me ask. Let me ask someone real quick. Let me uh. Let me, uh, ring someone real quick. Hang on, let me ring. Let me see if he picked up. <laughs> it's gonna be another news. Go on, please. I texted him. I texted him. That was all. That was so. Okay. I have texted him first. So I don't ring him and he's already in a call. I'm gonna let me bring someone else. Uh, I need uh, Jess. Jess will pick up. Jess will pick up. Jess will pick up. Don't worry, guys. <laughs> Let's see if she picks up. I don't think she's gonna pick up. I gotta ring someone else. Oh god, this is just because I can't find a location. This is awful. It's awful. She's not gonna pick up. No. Huh? Wait, it rings for a minute. Oh, no, no, it just rings for a minute. Oh, oh, she's alive.
Okay, yes! Hi, Jess! Jess! Hi! Hi! Wait, hello? Jess! 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 <laughs> hello, Jess! Jess! Can you hear me? Hello? Oh. Jess! Oh, that's Jess! Hi! Hi! Yeah. Okay. Hi! Uh, um, uh, okay, I, I just need you for this, this small thing. It's, it's um... Small tiny thing. Um, name a name a place. Any place. Oh. <laughs> no, <laughs> just, just 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 name a place. Any place. It could be like any place in the world. New York. Okay, New York again. <laughs> Where in New York? At Christmas. New York at Christmas. Okay. All right. Uh. <laughs> well, that, that, that's all I needed you for, by the way. <laughs> Can we hang out tomorrow? <laughs> yeah, sure, if you want to. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm a bit bored. Alright. Okay, I'll, 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 yeah. see, I'll see you in a bit. I'm, I'm streaming right now. At five o'clock. What? Okay, at five o'clock, okay, yeah? No, I'll have to leave at five. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's bad. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, see you in like a bit. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna let it get to two... No! No! Okay, so as you heard her, as you heard the woman, <laughs> as she's called, the lovely Jess, we are going to be, we are going to be, a, we, Pops, Pops, and Goku, okay, I gotta go, the death. In New York. Let's hope that clears things up. That's uh. Due to that, let's uh redo it. One Punch Man is known as a hero who, who is always victorious about any effort. But can he handle two heroes at once? Scout has agility and speed on his side. Well, I won't let's say that Scout is a, a hero, per se. Scout has agility and speed on his side. While Lenny is a master of magic, using elemental magic and elemental constructions. In a one on one fight, One Punch Man would triumph due to extreme power. However, in a two on one battle, the two heroes would have a chance of stopping him. Will the combined powers of Scout and Lenny be enough to stop One Punch Man? Imagine how the battle would play out. Scout will start the fight off with incredible speed, dodging One Punch Man's attacks, trying to trying to land trying to land punches on him. Okay. <laughs> Lenny would use very skills and elemental magic to put more pressure on One Punch Man. The two heroes would have to work together with this. With Scout distracting <laughs> We've got to fetch one punch man, let's put him out a one feet. Well Lenny does heavy damage with his magic. This team rook would give give the heroes a fair defense fair chance of defeating one punch man. <laughs> After one punch man was determined to win, he could only show overwhelming power and take both of his out in an instant. Hmm. 
to bring to the outcome of that, it depends on the motivation of one. Try to ask, we try to take them. You know, if he didn't have a struggle to defeat, he might mess around and give the pair the chance to their chance to take him down. <laughs> he does that because he's bored, by the way. Like, he's bored of having to beat up the him. So it's bad being able to say it as well. I haven't seen it. It's both. Fight. Fighting. In. Ah. Uh, Left on fight. Uh, if he is New York too much, a little London. In a battle between One Punch Man and the Sixth Doctor and Steve from, in a battle between the Sixth Doctor and Steve from Minecraft, One Punch Man would likely come out on top. Well, the Magic is known for its immense strength and durability, so we could likely withstand the offensive and defensive capabilities of the Doctor and Steve. <laughs> so rather than combine, okay, whatever. However, the battle becomes more complex, complicated when the Doctor's gadgets and the inventions and the Daleks are introduced. The Daleks could provide a significant distraction for One Punch Man. Since you're giving the Doctor and Steve an opening, they would need to take him out. So the battle's completely with the okay. They will be dealing in uh, hmm. Gotham City. No, because that means Batman's gonna show up. See, we gotta have both cards. But we'll be in the ruins. City 17. Stop, I need to stop with the hot level, whatever. It's too late. No, I've been mean black in the ruins of Black Mesa. It's chance. There is a chance here that one push man. It's one possible outcome. Is that one punch man with his overwhelming speed, strength, and speed would could quickly and effectively take down Steve and the Doctor? The Daleks may put up a fight, but they would be no match for one punch man. Man's might. Okay, we're gonna go with the first one because it's the first one it suggested. I know, I know, because there's a part where the Doctor and Steve actually win. That's it. Another possible outcome. Is that the strategy and combined efforts of the Doctor and Steve, along with their gadgets and weapons, could allow t them to defeat One Punch Man? The Daleks would be a major asset in this strategy, distracting and attacking One Punch Man and keeping him off balance, allowing for the Doctor and Steve to deal the final blow. It's sad, guys, but One Punch Man wins! Woo! So, not even Steve and the doc Six Doctor combined together could defeat. One punch man. But let's see in the final battle we'll be able to win between one punch man and pops. Yes. A one. Okay. This one's just gonna push on pops is just pops constantly. Uh, my friend did actually want uh, Goku and One Punch Man to go to fight, but sadly, they will not be. It wouldn't. I've spelled ability the wrong with the entire time. Chat, why have you not told me? Why are you not telling me this stuff? You need to tell me this sort of stuff. Okay. Goddamn chat. So useless chat. I don't even spark chat. 
I giggled apparently. Okay. Okay. One punch man. Nine! Nine! I said on that. I'm sorry, any German viewers I've got in the chat. Okay, let's hop it over quick, quick. <laughs> Bangkok, Thailand. Uh, okay, it did set up conditions. The battle between Pops from regular show and One Punch Man, Saitama, takes place in the vibrant in the vibrant and bustling city of Bangkok, Thailand. The chaotic streets and crowded markets and iconic landmarks become the backdrop of this clash of unconventional abilities and overwhelming strength. Both Pops and Saitama are aware that this is a battle to the death. Pops has access to all of his Weapons that are built include his immortality, superhuman strength, and summoning of and lolly lamp officer. Satama has access to all of his abilities, including unraveled strength, invulnerability, supersonic speed, and master martial arts, and his non limit training. Initial encounter. The battle begins in the heart of Van Bangkok. In midst of vibrant street markets and the bustling crowds, Pops, armed with his unconventional weapons, stands ready. Satama, with his casual demeanor, prepares for the challenge ahead. Pops. Utilising the chaotic environment of Bangkok, summons whimsical objects from Lollyland, creating a surreal and unpredictable environment battleground like he's done so many times before. Satana, with his supersonic speed, easily navigates through the summoned obstacles, maintaining a calm and collected stance. Satama's own lovely strength becomes apparent as he effortlessly punches through the whimsical barriers, showing little concern for the chaotic nature of Pop's powers. The crowd is sure is watching on and confusion as the battle unfolds. Pops, realising the need for a strategic approach, employs his unconventional weapons to create in creative and unexpected ways. However, Satanama's master, master martial arts allow him to effectively counter and deflect the barrage of unconventional attacks. The clash between Pops and productive weapons at Satanama's precise martial arts creates a dynamic, visually striking spectacle in the heart of Bangkok. The battle spills into various locations across Bangkok, including iconic landmarks and busy intersections. Pops continues to summon obstacles, attempts to use the environment to his advantage. Satama, with his unravels, strength and speed, adapts effortlessly to the changing landscape. God, this looks... this is awful! The clash between the true draws. He's entered a long onlookers who watch in amazement as the streets of Bangkok become an area for this extraordinary battle. Oh, I just saw the ending of myself. I know what's gonna happen. No, oh, I'd hold it all this. Satama, recognizing the need to end the battle, decides to unleash his no limits training. His strength intensifies as he charges a devastating punch aimed directly at Pops. Pops, you tossed his immortality, summoning ability, he attempts to evade the impending punch. Oh, but Satama's overwhelmed power proves too much, and the punch can't connect with unparalleled force. In a decisive, swift moment, Satama's punch proves to be unstoppable. Pops, despite his immortality and unique abilities, succumbs to the overwhelming strength of Satama. <sighs> Pops loss as the battle con concludes in the heart of Bangkok. The city returns to its normal rhythm. And onlookers are left with an unforgettable memory of a clash between the whimsical and the unbeatable. Satama, having emerged victorious, resumes his casual demeanour and continues his journey, leaving Bangkok behind with the echoes that defined the other. <gasps> bum, bum, bum! Well, um, that's all then. I am. Wow, it's
Shut the cross you once again. The, the docks can use technology. Right, there we go. The six doctor has access to all technicians. The six doctor has to all his weapons and builds and power to guard them. She even has to all weapons and items to be loaded to summon the ten snow bombs and destruction. Additionally, I'm oh, sorry. The six doctor arrives with Scott as a giant. Um. Oh, <laughs> okay. Well, uh, thank you for joining me today. If you stayed throughout the entire stream, I appreciate it. Um, it seems that time has won. Uh, we have done this uh three times before. We completed the first one. We didn't complete the second one because college is a bit too much. So this is the third one. We managed to complete it. So, at the moment on the leaderboard we have Beerus and One Punch Man. Both with one win, both with one win each. Maybe, if uh, I do this enough times, we will have a full-on leaderboard battle. Where we'll get the winners from each, each and every single try. Go up against each other. I don't know, I have a couple planned. I have a just game characters, so this removes uh, movie characters, so there'd be no One Punch Man, it'd just be game characters so like Master Chief, uh, uh, Platoona, Mario, you know, some examples. Monokuma. Probably <laughs> Monokuma. Uh, let's see. Well, if you're wondering why I'm watching it, is I'm gonna watch this stream so I can make sure to end it at a collect time, like a more appropriate time. Okay. <laughs>